Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome to the next chapter of The Long Dark. Episode 3, Crossroads Elegy. It's available now. I know it's available because I've got it installed. It's on here right now and we're going to get straight into it. Now if I go to resume, is that going to pick up on chapter 3? Continue your current story. Start a new story. We'll overwrite your existing autosaves. I really hope... Oh, wait, what? This was the end of chapter 3. This is what happened. We basically got knocked out at the end of chapter 3. The end of chapter 2, sorry. metal case is a thing of the old world, stranger. It's a world of closed doors and things being off limits. <sighs> yeah, see, I was part of that world, but that world's over. This is my world now, and in my world, I make the rules. In my world, see, there are no locks. <laughs> Your world sounds crazy. What's in the case? I have no idea. What's in the case? I hope it's painkillers. Your ID says you're a pilot. You have a plane somewhere. My plane wouldn't do you any good. Yeah. Should I show you what happened to the last person who lied to me? She didn't look so pretty after I was done. She? So now he's ready to talk. Well, don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon. Right, well that was the final bit of the chapter 2, so now we've got chapter 3. Episode 3. There we go, continue. So this is not his story anymore, that's put on, I don't know if it's put on hold or if that's the end of his story or what. This is the story of the woman that he was with at the beginning of episode 1. So now we find out what happened to her and what she's been doing. Wait a minute. That's... Uh... Is it Astrid? I think it's Astrid.
So, she lives. Where am I? And she speaks. You're in my house. Found you out in the snow a few days ago. A, f a few days? Almost dead. You're half frozen and then feverish. Judging by those cuts, you've been dealing with more than just the bad weather. I, uh, I ran into some trouble on the other side of that tunnel. <laughs> by the looks of it, I'd say the trouble ran into you. Where am I? I told you, my house. You're still weak. Rest up and we'll talk more later. No, no. I'm, uh, I'll be, I'll be okay. Suit yourself. Then let's talk. Okay, we've got a house. Got anything else? Uh, I guess I just click. Yeah, just he click. He said we're in your house. But how did I get here? I was out hunting. Came across you in the snow, buried. You'd been out there for hours, maybe even days. Nearly dead. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> thank you for finding me. Name is Molly. And don't thank me. <laughs> thank the crow. Crow? Yeah, crow. Or maybe a raven. The bird wouldn't shut up. Led me straight to you. Almost like it was guiding me. Carried. Power. Kitchen. All right, let's just go with that one first. You carried me here? Drag more like, but yeah. You're pretty far gone. Wasn't sure you'd make it, to be honest. Well, all I remember is the tunnel. And wolves. Being chased and then wandering. Forever. Like the world at no end. Yeah. In the woods. In the dark. You can wander for days until you get so hopelessly lost. There's just no way to get back to where you were. I was in a small town. Milton. Other side of the mountains. Old town. Bad shape since the collapse. Haven't been there in ages. That's where we were. You must have wandered a ways for me to find you where I did. But you're not from there. No. The old town. Milton. It's gone. I mean, the people are gone. Most of them are. It was a fire and... <laughs> Whoa, it's okay. You're all right now. Don't get too worked up. You nearly died out there. That does funny things to people. Power or kitchen? Up to, oh, we, we don't really know anything at the moment. We know that she's out in the snow and she's been found, but we don't know anything else whatsoever. What's power? So, the power's been out for a while? Yep. Think it'll come back? Well, we're used to the power going on and off out here in Pleasant Valley, so we're usually prepared for it. Feels like you run this farm on generators for better part of the year. Problem is, now the generators won't start. Or the cars, tractor, the TV's dead, radio won't work. Basically, the only thing that works is the old landline and rotary phone. How is that possible? I guess because it's pre-electronics. The old party line from when this farm was originally put in, maybe 60, 70 years ago. I'm not exactly sure how or why it still works, but it does. Well, that's great. C can you call for help? Find out what's going on out there? There's nobody to call. Nobody else lives around here? Huh. 
Nobody who'd help if you asked for it. Okay, so things are really not so good then. But then we, we kind of knew that. So Milton is where we were. We've seen Milton and she's just come from there. Uh, so this is, I would guess, it's been a few days. I'm guessing that this is around the time that we are stumbling through Milton and finding out everything that's going on. That's, that's the kind of timeline that we're looking at, I think. Is this your kitchen? By the time I got you here, there was no way I was carrying you upstairs. So you set up a bed in here? Power's out. This is the warmest room in the house. This cook stove is probably keeping us alive. Ah, Mackenzie. I was in a plane crash in the mountains. That's how I ended up in Milton. I, I got separated from a, from, a, from a friend. They were in the crash too? Yes. They make it out alive? Well, there, there was a storm. Wolves. I, I got disoriented. We got separated. I, I couldn't, couldn't see him. Him? So you left him out there? And then I ran into trouble. Wolves and... Worse. I'm sure he made it out fine. Yeah? How are you so sure? Nothing could break that stubborn skull. But you're worried about him. Yes. And there's something I need from the plane. What is it? Something important. I need to find him. I need to get it back. You haven't seen a man pass through here. Nobody that sounds like your guy. But you've seen a man. Like I said... Nobody that sounds like your guy. Okay, mystery. Freezer's empty. You're gonna need energy to heal, which means we need meat. I'll be heading out early to hunt. Okay. You should stay here. Rest up some more. You don't look too good. Thank you. I will. And it's not safe out there, so just stay in the house. Right. I mean it. Stay in the house. But what happens if we don't want to stay in the house? Supposing we want to go for a little bit of a wander. We might. Okay, so we've um, started chapter three and we now have more questions than we had before we started. Which is about part of the course for this game so far, which is why everybody seems to love it and why I love it as well. Bright and early, she's been out hunting. Ah, you're awake. Thought you were resting. Managed to bag a stag not far from the farm. This will keep us fed for a bit. I heard a kettle whistling. I put it on for tea. So we can have tea and meat. I must be starting to feel better because that actually sounds good. It's amazing what hunger does to the mind. If you're feeling better, you can start answering some questions. Like what the hell are you really doing out here? <sighs> That's a long story. Well, power's been out for... I've lost track of how long. We got the cold, we got deadly blizzards, we got hungry wolves, we got some tea and meat. We aren't going anywhere. So to be honest, a bit of storytelling be a nice distraction right about now. Okay, I said right back at the beginning that I thought that she knew more about this than was let on. But I mean, maybe she doesn't, because she seems as confused by all of the lights and everything going out as everybody else. So maybe she doesn't know everything about it. I'm a doctor. Dr. Astrid Greenwood. Nice to meet you, Dr. Astrid. Like a head colds and babies doctor? More like lab coats and test tubes. A researcher. Oh, okay, so not the useful kind. <laughs> I need to get to a town up north. Perseverance Mills. You know where that is? I don't get out much, but yeah, I've heard of it. 
Okay. Well, there's some sick people there, and they need my help. And the thing I lost in the plane crash. The thing my friend might have. I need it if I'm gonna help those people. The thing the stubborn guy you left in the plane crash might have? Right. So what you're saying is the thing you need is on the other side of that collapsed tunnel in the mountains, in the place where you ran into trouble. That's right. You know what? You coming here to Great Bear? Yeah. Not your best plan. Hmm. <laughs> so the people up north in Perseverance Mills, why are they sick? I'm not entirely sure. That's why I need to get there. You must have some ideas, or why travel all this way? I have some ideas, yes. But you aren't going to tell me what they are. No, I'm not. And the thing your friend in the plane crash has, the thing you need to help them? You aren't going to tell me what it is either, are you? Right. We're supposed to be getting well, answers. You are a lady with a lot of secrets. We need some ants. Right, so there's... Must be some sort of plague going on up at Perseverance Mills. And she knows about the plague, and that's what she's going to do. But this has kind of thrown a spanner in the works. Maybe. So, when you came in, I heard you locking a padlock. Same thing when you went out. Am I locked in here? It's better for you to stay indoors. Why? Lots of wolves out there. And it's cold. You aren't strong enough to go out there yet. Trust me, it's for your own safety. I appreciate everything you've done to help. But I'd like to leave. I have to find my friend and... get on with my work. When you're stronger. So... I'm trapped in here. Like I said, it's for your own good. Ooh. So, um, is your husband around? Husband? It seems like more than one adult lives here. I assumed, uh, husband. Assumptions can be dangerous. You're a doctor, you should know that. I didn't mean to a... You should just mind your own business. But you just got back. I need space. Need to think. I'm sorry. I... Stay out of my shit. Well, that didn't go so well. Looks like I'm not the only one with secrets. At least we get to... Maybe we can find out who this lady is. Something's going on here. This place. Am I really trapped in here? Look for clues that might tell you a little bit more about Molly. Journal updated. What have we got down here? Check your journal for knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. Press J. Right. Knowledge. Uh. Doesn't actually tell me much, does it? Places, things, actions, people. Oh, select. There. Molly. Years on a working farm in a remote corner of Great Bear Island have left their mark on Molly. She's plain spoken, often blunt. She sees the world for what it is. There are no illusions inhabiting Molly's life and she likes it that way. Other than the farm and regular subsistence hunting, simple pleasures, tea and the wanderings of her own imagination keep Molly occupied. Okay, so we don't know anything else about her yet. <laughs> ah, of course, we can't jump, can we? You can use light sources, things like that. Uh, look for clues that might tell us more about Molly. I've got to remember the controls. This is the stuff that we're carrying. So we've, we've got some clothing. We've got one empty tin can. Uh, we don't have very much else. It's probably not a good idea to go and help ourselves to a load of her stuff. Why are we yelling? 
Right, now remember, uh, we want to get, there we go, we've got a sprained ankle, right, uh, recovery time, four of four hours, you've twisted your ankle and now suffering a sprain, your mobility will reduce until you treat it or it heals over time. If we can get a bandage, then we can do it, pain, three hours, 37 minutes, or we get some painkillers. We don't have anything else there, we don't have any painkillers. Let's have a look round. See if we got anything. There's nothing in here. What's that? Looks like maybe the barrel exploded. Ooh. Well, that's a clue. Barrel exploded. Bad hunting trip. That's definitely a clue. The farmhouse that's locked. Yeah, we're in pain. Yeah, that, that looks like Molly from a while ago. And there's someone with her. Alright, we can't go into the cupboards. I'm hoping to be able to like find a bandage or something, you know, a bit of anything to do with painkiller or anything like that. Um, no, ah. noth nothing in those. It's all very, very blurry at the moment, isn't it? We, we haven't got anything else. Let's, let's head upstairs. See if we can find anything here. You can't look out the windows. We've got a box. We've got a radio. We've got a lot of pain. We hurt. This looks like a kid's room, actually. Doesn't it? Like this this, this actually looks like a, a child's room of some kind. Okay, anything there? Is there anything under the bed? Ah, there we go. Right. Easy. Let's not rush around too fast. This will be Molly's room. Ah! Right, we've got to find some painkillers or something. Except, well, we can't. We, we, we haven't got anything that we can, like, break up to use. What's through here? Right, if we go sort of... Oh, no, we've already been in there. Maybe there's something ah! in this one. We are in a lot of pain. Ooh, bag. What's this? No, can't get in that one. It's always the bags that you can get into first, isn't it? I'm guessing this is like the introduction, how to play the game sort of situation. So we're, we're not going to get too much in the way of clues and stuff. Ooh. Torn from something. Orange fabric. Orange fabric. Now that's interesting. Uh, hurts Where's a bit, the phone? But I'll make it. Where's the phone? I'm really ah. sure. Must be downstairs. here. There. There we go. What the hell took you so long? Uh, uh hello? Thank God you answered. Molly? Yeah, it's me. Listen up, doctor. Okay. They have me surrounded. They're smart sons of bitches. Wait, who has you surrounded? Are you in trouble? Not who. What? It's those damn wolves. They've cornered me in the barn. It sounds like they're trying to find a way in. But, but wolves don't usually bother people. Don't bother people. Shit, lady, haven't you been paying attention? Never mind that. Okay, okay, what can I do? I need you to bring me something from the house. Okay, but you locked me in here, remember? 
Flower vase. Key to the basement's under it. Look for the gun locker. Grab the rifle rounds. Take the old revolver for protection. Might not stop a wolf, but it'll slow one down. Follow the blizzard line from the house to the barn. Get here quick and we'll figure it out. Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Go straight to the gun locker. Stay out of everything else, got it? Go straight to the gun locker. Stay out of everything else. Well, you know what I want to do. Ooh. First aid? No. No, we can't use the, can't use a towel. I need to do something about my leg. I definitely need to do something about my leg. I mean, look, what do we got? Recovery time for I've I've still got to treat it. Two hours forty three caused by plane crash injuries. It's the sprained ankle. I need to I need a bandage to be able to treat that one. Without the bandage, I'm in trouble. Right, where's the Flower thingy. I got one over here. Flower pot. So I'm gonna do with the flower pot. And then the basement. Ah, there. That 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 one. That one right there. Is it? No. That's the only flower. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh flower pot? Nope. Where is the basement? We gotta, we gotta try and find. I thought that was a door to the basement for a minute. It's not. Um. Ah, there. That smarts a bit. Requires a basement key. Yeah, but she said under the flower pot. That's the flower pot right there, isn't it? Um. We're right back to me not knowing where anything is. Molly rescued you from near death as a local with deep knowledge that region she might be key to surviving long enough to find a way to Perseverance Mills. Find the key under the vase. <gasps> right. There's got to be a vase here somewhere. Where is the vase? It's not there. Maybe it's out on the worktop somewhere. Have we got anything up here? I'm just kind of... Going around randomly looking for things to click. Now, ooh. It's food. I can't pick it up, but we know... We, well, we've got food there. But where's where's this vase? That's the, the basement. That's a lamp. That's not it. Ow! In here... I don't see anything. I'm gonna need some first aid soon. Yeah, we need first aid soon. But I can't see where this vase is. Uh. It's not here. Oh! There. Search the vase. There we go. Right, we have got the basement key. So we can have that one, and then we go over here. Go straight to the gun locker. Do not look at anything else, she said. Naturally, therefore. <sighs> Hurts a bit, but I'll make it. We're gonna want... That's my jacket. <sighs> Got it. Gloves. Toke. Water bottle. Granola. It's my stuff. Seriously. Unfortunately, we're going to have to put the adventure on hold there for just a moment. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.